Ian, today you addressed the BMA's annual representative meeting on behalf of the Medical Students Committee as chairman. Can you tell us a few of the main things that you discussed during your speech at the conference? Sure, I focused mainly on uh, the issue of free accommodation for F1 doctors, uh, or the lack of free accommodation. And I think this is the issue that's most important to medical students around the country at the moment, particularly those who are in their final year and will be starting uh, their first jobs in only a few weeks' time. Uh, traditionally, first year doctors, pre-registration doctors or foundation year one doctors have been given accommodation in the hospital for free and for years the government have uh, used this as a, as a bargaining tool um, and kept pay uh, artificially low um, as, uh, using this as a bargaining tool. Uh, so it seems, seems to reason that when they remove it there should be a compensatory pay rise and unfortunately uh, the DDRB didn't recognise this and the Department of Health haven't uh, honoured this. Uh, so we're very disappointed about that and we think it's going to cost uh, uh, junior doctors an extra, uh, on average, about an extra £4,800 a year for accommodation that was previously free. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time as this, medical student debt is rocketing. Uh, currently, uh, students graduate uh, on average £21,000 in debt. But those who are starting medical school today, um, with the introduction of top-up fees, uh, will be uh, graduating, we predict, on average about £37,000 in debt. So as the debt situation gets worse, the, uh, the first year pay deal effectively gets worse as well. And it's a real concern to today's medical students. And there was a lot of anger expressed by students at the, at the conference. There were a number of motions passed mm -hmm. um, which were supportive of what you've just said. Can you want to tell us a little bit about some of the motions the conference carried today? Sure. Well, we, we've been running a, a campaign for a few weeks now since the medical students uh, conference back in April, the beginning of April, um, about the accommodation issue. And uh, the first part of the campaign was, was getting people to write to MPs, and I'd encourage anyone who hasn't yet done so to, through the BMA website, write to their MP on this issue. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we had some local protests which were all very successful. And we're, we're raising it again uh, in a couple of weeks' time. We're having a, a one night protest on the 18th of July where we're inviting students from across the country to come to London, and, uh, and we're, we're having a, a protest day. Uh, that will lead into an evening where representatives from various from, from all around the country will sleep in tents that night to demonstrate the strength of feeling about the loss of their and not the loss of their homes effectively. And just one final point: there was some good news today from Wales about this issue. Can you yeah. just tell us about that? Yeah, the Welsh Assembly government have decided to do the right thing, and they've decided to continue the uh, the free accommodation for another year. And it's, it's quite clear, we have all the evidence, that the government always said that before they made this change, they would alter the contract mm -hmm. uh, to, to compensate for it. Um, they, ha they haven't done that. So the Welsh Assembly Government need to be applauded today because they have done the right thing. And uh, Foundation Year One Junior Doctors in Wales will continue to get accommodation provided for free from next year. And I call, call upon the other governments in England, Scotland and Northern Ireland to do the same. Okay, thank you very much.